What is your approach to finding the best topics to learn from and to add the most value to yourself and clients? So this is a good question. Typically for me, I, I wait until it's, I wait until I have a problem before I go and learn something because that's when you're going to be uh, most receptive to the ideas and everything in there. So I'll give you an example. Um, recently with my business, we've you know, grown to have quite a lot of people. We've got like 50 people or something now. And we've got two offices, one in Ireland, one over here. And you know, there's a lot of moving parts and everything. And I'm, I'm totally new and foreign to this. And it seems to me like you know, very complicated and kind of overwhelming and stuff. And so the books I've been reading this week to try and get my head around that and get ideas and understand what should I do is a lot of things to do with simplifying. So I'll give you an example. I've got the books right here. These are what the ones I've been looking through right now. So there's this one. This one here is real good, essentialism, because it's all about like simplifying and focusing on the essentials. Then we've also got 80-20 sales and marketing, another good one. Um, the 80-20 principle, another good one. Um, and then this book here called Simplify, another good one. And this one's a really good book too, Getting Real. Good one. And this one's a good one too, Rework. And so because I've been, because in my business I've been getting a little bit like overwhelmed with all of the people and all of the moving parts. I wanted to simplify it and I wanted to, you know, make sure that we weren't doing anything that we shouldn't be doing um, and making sure that we're focusing on the right thing. So, you know, the first thing when you're trying to learn is to understand what the problem is that you've got. And then you go looking in different books and you read through that stuff. And what's cool about reading books when you've got a problem is that everything speaks to you differently. Like you read something and you're like, oh my God, that's exactly what I need to do. And you circle it and then you write a little list of all the different things you've got to do. And so that's, that's the difference. But if I was to read those books without having some specific thing to relate it back to, then it probably wouldn't, I probably wouldn't come up with that many good ideas and I wouldn't be that motivated and energized to read through the content as well. 